Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to crochet this cat ear balaclava. This pattern is made to measure and I'll also be giving you guys the measurements. So that means you can use a different weight yarn to make yours just like this or a size you desire. Um, I actually got this yarn from like a scrap yarn section from my local yarn store so it didn't come with label I don't know what weight it is but I'm gonna say it's about 10 ply and from my personal experience for this yarn I decided to use a 5 millimeter crochet hook and that's why I'm gonna be giving you guys the measurements so that you can use a different weight yarn and when you use that yarn be sure to read the label and use the hook that your yarn calls for So here I already figured out the pattern of the ears. I'm going to show you how to do it. So basically I started from here and then I worked in rows back and forth and each row I increased on both sides and then worked some stitches here to make the edge look better. So I started with a slip knot. You can make the slip knot your way. And then I insert my hook chain two one and two and then in the first chain here I actually insert it in the back bump of that chain so turn your work like that and find the back bump which is this one. In this loop, I'm going to make a half double crochet. To make a half double crochet, we need to yarn over first. So yarn over, and then insert your hook in that back bump. Yarn over, pull yarn through. Yarn over, pull through three. I'm going to put a stitch marker in the top two loops here. So like that. Now that was row one. For row one, I have one stitch. Now I'm going to chain one and turn um, to work row two. When you chain one, make that chain a bit looser. In these top two loops of the last stitch, in this marked stitch, I'm going to make three half double crochets. So yarn over, I'm going to insert my hook in the top two loops like that. Yarn over, pull yarn through those two loops. And then yarn over, Pull through all. So that's the first stitch of row two. I'm gonna mark it as well. So like that. Just in the top two loops. So that's the first stitch of row two. In the same stitch, I'm gonna make two more half double crochets. So yarn over again. Insert in the same stitch. Pull yarn up. Yarn over, pull through three. And then do it one more time in the very same stitch. Yarn over, insert your hook. Yarn over, pull yarn up. Yarn over, pull through three. So that was row two. Row two, we have three stitches. The first one is marked. So now I can take out this stitch marker. Now I'm going to chain one and turn to begin row three. Chain one, turn. That's the first stitch. That's the first stitch. If you still can't tell which one, that's the second chain from the hook. One, two. In that one, I'm going to work two half double crochets. So yarn over, insert your hook in the top two loops of that stitch. Yarn over, pull yarn up, 
yarn over, pull through three, mark the very first stitch again. And then work a second half double crochet in the same stitch. And then in the second stitch, which is the middle stitch of row two, I'm gonna work one half double crochet. So yarn over, insert your hook in the next stitch, in the top two loops, and make a half double crochet. This marked stitch is the very last stitch. In this one, I'm gonna make two half double crochets. Yarn over, insert your hook in the marked stitch in both loops and work a half double crochet and then the second one in the same stitch. Now I can take out this stitch marker. So that was row three. Row four, chain one, turn. We have five stitches here. One, two, three, four, five. In the first one and the last one, I'm gonna work two half double crochets. The rest of the stitches in between, I'm gonna work one half double crochet. So that's the first one. Work my half double crochet and then a second one in the same stitch. Don't forget to mark your first stitch by the way. So that's the first one, that's the second one we just did. So mark that first stitch and then I'm gonna work one half double crochet in each stitch all the way to the last stitch. And then in this last stitch, work two half double crochets. So the second one, insert in the same stitch. And then take this out as well. Okay, next row is row five, chain one and turn. And again, in the very first stitch and the very last stitch, two half double crochets. So yarn over, insert in the very first stitch. And then don't forget to mark this first stitch. In the same stitch, a second half double crochet and then one half double crochet in each of the following stitches and every time you insert your hook it's all in both loops and when you get to the very last one two half double crochets The second one in the same stitch. So that was row five. Chain one and turn. Two half double crochets in the very first stitch. And then one half double crochet in each stitch. And then as usual, the last stitch, two half double crochets. So now I have six rows. Now I'm going to work single crochets along this edge first. And for every two half double crochet rows, I'm gonna work three single crochets. 
So here I have six half double crochet rows. That means I need to work nine single crochets along this edge. So that's two rows. I'm going to work three single crochets here. I'm going to chain one first. So the first single crochet I'm going to work in here. You see this line here? The first one's going to be just a bit before that. To work a single crochet, you just insert your hook, pull yarn up, yarn over, pull through two. So that was my first single crochet. The second one I'm going to work in there. And the third one in this row. Then I'm going to do the same thing for the next two rows. That's one row, that's another one. So three single crochets there. Three more single crochets along the edge of the last two rows. It's one, two, the third one I'm gonna work in the very top of the triangle here. And then in the same space, I'm going to work two more. One will be in the middle. The other one is actually the first stitch on this side. And when you insert your hook, make sure you have this yarn tail on your hook so that the top of the ear looks clean. One single crochet there. And then one more in the same stitch. And this third one is the very first stitch of this row. And for this row, again, nine single crochets, that being the very first one. So I'll need to work two more here. The first one I'm going to work in there, carrying the yarn tail, one single crochet. And then the third one will be there. And then six more single crochets to work here. Now I have my last single crochet to work. I'm going to work it in this marked stitch. And then I chain one to secure it. I'm going to leave a long tail here so that we can use this yarn to sew the ear onto the hat. So I left about 20 inches and then I cut here, pull yarn through. I'm going to trim this yarn tail as well. And that's it. That's the ears. And when we sew them onto the hat, it's not going to be flat like that. It's going to be curved like that. This balaclava is made of two panels. What you're seeing right now is one panel. We're going to begin from the back here. This is the beginning chain. And then we're going to work back and forth in rows like that, increasing here until it reaches this height from the top of your head to the bottom. 
and then we work back and forth normally without increasing as you can see here this is flat so the first thing I did here was figure out the distance between this and that so zero here as you can see is at the top of my head and I want my balaclava to be around here and that's about 14 inches which is around 36 centimeters so once I figured out the distance here the beginning chain is actually two inches shorter than that uh, the two inches difference is just because of how i did this pattern here so if i want this distance to be 14 inches my beginning chain should be 12 inches which is 14 minus 2. so to begin the chain i'm going to make a slip knot grab this yarn and pull it like that and then we have a slip knot insert your hook and I'm going to make a chain of 12 inches. By the way, 12 inches is about 30 centimeters. So to make a chain, you just yarn over and pull it through the loop on your hook. That's chain one, chain two, chain three, So I'm just going to keep chaining until I reach 12 inches. I don't know how many chains I need yet. If you have a different weight yarn, meaning a different thickness, the chain numbers you need to make might not be the same as mine, which is okay. You just need to make sure your chain is 12 inches. So with this yarn, this is 40 chains and it reaches 12 inches. And then after that, I'm going to chain one. In the second chain from the hook, I'm going to make a double crochet first. If you know me, I make my first double crochet differently. So instead of a chain three, I'm gonna make two stacked single crochets, which means I need to make a single crochet first in that chain. But instead of inserting in the back loop, I'm going to insert in the back bump because if I insert in the back loop, um, we're gonna have a big hole here. This edge will just look better if we insert in the back bump. And the back bump, if you turn your chain like that, it's that thing. The second chain from the hook, turn your chain, find the back bump, and insert your hook, make a single crochet. So, yarn over, pull it up, yarn over, pull through two. And then that's the first single crochet. I'm going to make a second single crochet in the left vertical loop. So insert your hook in that loop, yarn over, pull yarn through, two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two. So that was two single crochets and they make up the very first double crochet. I'm going to put a stitch marker in it. So like that, just in the top two loops. And then I'm going to start this row with an increase on this end, not on the other. In the very first stitch, we already made a double crochet. I'm going to make two more normal double crochets in the same stitch. To make a normal double crochet yarn over, and then we're going to insert in the same stitch here. This is the very first stitch. So insert your hook. Yarn over, pull yarn up. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two again. That's one normal double crochet. I'm gonna do it one more time in the same stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook in the very same stitch. Yarn over, pull yarn up. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. And that's it. That's three double crochets in one stitch. We just finished the increase. And then from the back loop of the next stitch, 
we're going to make one double crochet in each stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook in the next back bump, yarn over, pull yarn up, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Continue doing that, yarn over, insert your hook in the next back bump. And make a double crochet. So I'm just gonna keep doing this. Working one double crochet in the back bump of each stitch until I reach the end of the chain. Okay, so I'm near the end of the row. As you can see, that's my last chain. That's its back bump. I need to make one more um, double crochet in it. So just insert in the back bump, make the last double crochet, and that's it. On this side, we won't be increasing. So when you reach the side with a yarn tail, you just turn your work. We're gonna directly start the next row in that direction. And when we reach this end, we're gonna increase again. So again, we're gonna start with that special double crochet, which is two single crochets. Also from this row, we're going to insert in the back loop only. So that's the first stitch, as you can see. And that's the back loop. We're going to insert in the back loop like that. And yarn over, pull it up, make the first single crochet. And then insert in the left vertical loop, make another single crochet. Again, mark this very first stitch. I'm gonna put my stitch marker in the top two loops here. And like I said, at this end, no increase. So we're gonna move on to the next stitch. In the next stitch back loop, make a normal double crochet. So yarn over, insert your hook, pull yarn up, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. At this end with the tail, we're always going to do this. Um, no increase, just one double crochet in each stitch. So we move on to the next stitch, back loop, double crochet, one double crochet in it. I'm going to continue working like this. So I'm near the end of the row, the marked stitch should be the last stitch we work into. So one more double crochet in that stitch. In the very last stitch that is marked, I'm going to work three double crochets. Um, so here I'm gonna make a bit change. If I, if I work all three double crochets in the back loop, it's gonna pull the yarn like that and leave a hole there. So for this very last stitch, instead of working in the back loop only, I'm gonna insert in both loops. And this is just to avoid that hole. So insert in both loops, work the first double crochet, and then I'm gonna do two more here because I need to increase on this end. So go ahead and work two more double crochet in the same stitch. And then one last one. Okay. So that's the first two rows. From the next row, I'm gonna change the pattern a little bit. Instead of working three double crochets, I'm gonna work two. So turn your work. I'm gonna work that special double crochet 
in the very first stitch so that's the very first stitch insert in the back loop and make a single crochet first and then in the left vertical loop make a second single crochet so that's the first double crochet you can take out this stitch marker and place it in the new first stitch and I'm gonna work a normal double crochet in the same stitch I think I'm gonna insert in both loops because when you work multiple stitches instead of one it pull this yarn a bit more and then it will create an unwanted space so for the first stitch I'm gonna work in both loops as well because I know I'm gonna work multiple stitches more than one in this stitch and that's why I'm inserting in both loops so make that single crochet and then in the left vertical loop another single crochet now I'm gonna mark that stitch and then in the same stitch both loops again I'm gonna make a normal double crochet and that's it that's the increase two stitches in one stitch and then from the next stitch I'm going to insert in the back loop only yarn over insert in the back loop and start working that normal double crochet continue doing that to the end of the row and like I said before we are at this end with a yarn tail so I'm just gonna work one double crochet in each stitch all the way to this um, last stitch that is marked um, I'm going to insert in this back loop because I'm not working multiple stitches in this loop so I can work it in the back loop but if you want you can still work in both loops so like that and then I'm gonna begin row four I'm gonna start with the special double crochet so one single crochet so that's the special double crochet and then I'm gonna move on to the next stitch insert in the back loop and work a normal double crochet and then I'm going to continue working in the back loop only make one double crochet in each stitch until I reach the other end so I reached this end now I have this last um, stitch that is marked and on this end I'm going to increase as you can see I need to increase on this end this end don't need to increase so I know I'm going to increase I'm going to work two stitches in the last stitch and that's why I'm going to insert in both loops instead of the back loop only to avoid creating a hole so in this last marked stitch I'm going to insert in both loops and make a double crochet and then in the same stitch I'm going to make one more so two double crochets in that stitch and that's it now I have four rows here on this end I increase by working multiple um, double crochets in the very first stitch and this end just one double crochet in each stitch and the increase pattern for the first two rows I worked three double crochets row three and four I worked two double crochets now I'm gonna work two more rows following this pattern meaning on this end I'm gonna work two double crochets in the very first stitch and that end one double crochet in each stitch which means row five I'm going to turn and because in this very first stitch I'm gonna work two stitches so I'm gonna insert in both loops work a special double crochet and then one more normal double crochet in the same stitch and then one double crochet in the back loop of each stitch back loop only
So one double crochet in the back loop of each stitch to the end of the row. Um, I forgot to mark this stitch, but it's this one. If you pull it, you can see that's one stitch, that's one, that's one. So the first stitch is here in these top two loops. So work one double crochet in the back loop of each stitch all the way here, one double crochet back loop, one double crochet back loop in this very last stitch that is marked. And then you turn your work, do this row again. So you work a special double crochet in the back loop of the very first stitch, mark that stitch, and then move on to the next stitch, one double crochet in the back loop of each stitch, you work your way back in that direction. So I'm at the end of row 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. In the very last stitch, I'm going to work in both loops again, two double crochets. And the increase is going to stop from the next row which means including this end, I'm going to work one double crochet in each stitch. No increase anymore from row seven. So turn your work. This is the beginning of row seven. I'm going to start from the very first stitch, insert in the back loop only, and make that special double crochet. And then from the next stitch, insert in the back loop, work a normal double crochet. And continue working like that. End of the row, one double crochet in the last stitch, which is marked, back loop only. And then you turn again, repeat the same row here. So just one row repeat. So yeah, from the next row, that's what I'm going to do. Um, from the very first stitch to the very last one, which is marked, I'm going to work one double crochet in the back loop of each stitch. And I'm going to work back and forth like that. Just continue working like that until this is thick enough um, to fit my head. So after the first six increased rows, I did 10 more plain rows. So the whole thing measures about nine inches which is about 23 centimeters. And this is the depth of the balaclava. After you finish the last stitch, you're going to chain one, cut this yarn, and pull it through. Then you're going to repeat the same thing, make a second panel. So the first panel you cut like that. The second panel, you're just going to finish your last stitch and then pull your yarn like that because we're going to use this yarn to sew up the seam. Okay, so now I'm going to sew them up. I'm going to start from here and go along this edge like that. And if I sew them up from this side, that means the other side is going to be the right side. So I'm just going to sew them row to row. You'll notice the ribs don't line up. That's normal. So that row to that, that to that, that to that. So I'm gonna work two slip stitches for every double crochet row. So two slip stitches and two here. I'm gonna start from the very first, very last stitch actually. Insert in that stitch. Um, so I can pull this loop through like that. And then I'm going to chain one to attach them together. So two slip stitches here. I'm just going to insert in the very edge of the stitch. And then I'm going to insert in the edge on this side as well. I'm going to yarn over and pull it through all the loops on my hook, including that one as well. So that's a slip stitch. One more slip stitch here.
and on this side as well yarn over pull through all to make a slip stitch so that's two slip stitches for one row um, I'm gonna work two more here for the next row like this and the other side slip stitch the fourth one and on this side slip stitch so I'm gonna continue working like that two slip stitches for each double crochet row the same for this curved part yet two slip stitches two 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 like that I'll see you here like that and then I'm gonna start um, joining these stitches now I can see I've got three stitches here and three stitches there in one stitch so I'm gonna work in that one stitch on this side I'm gonna insert in there and that side there as well that's actually the bottom of the three increase stitches that we did so I'm gonna slip stitch and then from the very next stitch as you can see I have the top two loops here top two loops there on this side I'm gonna insert in both loops so I'm gonna find the next stitch that insert in the top two loops like that and on this edge I'm always gonna insert in the back loop only so find that matching stitch here I'm gonna insert in the back loop only like that and slip stitch and I'm just gonna continue doing that next stitch top two loops next stitch on this side back loop only slip stitch I'm gonna keep doing this until I reach the end of the row that is my last stitch and I'm gonna find a back loop in there and slip stitch chain one I'm gonna fasten off here like that I'm gonna tie these together later I can weave this in um, the stitches on the wrong side so this is gonna be the wrong side let me turn it over that's the right side of the seam so now we need to close this at the front and leave a hole for the face now I'm going to put this on and here I can see how many stitches at the bottom I need to sew up so I think this is good I'm going to see how many stitches I have here so I'm gonna sew up the 12 stitches at the bottom here and when you sew it up don't forget to turn it to the wrong side because we're going to do the joining from the wrong side so this is the wrong side I joined my stitches from this side now I'm going to make a slip knot first and insert my hook in the first stitch of both edges so just the top two loops here and then the first stitch on this edge And then grab the slip knot, pull it through, chain one, so that was the first stitches joined together. Now from the second stitch, whenever I insert on this edge, I'm going to insert in the front loop only, and then, and then the second stitch here, I'm going to insert in both loops, and then I'm going to make a slip knot. So next stitch, 
front loop only both loops and then slip stitch this is one two three four five after number 12 I'm going to chain one and then I'm going to do one round um, maybe two rounds I'll have to see but I'm going to do one round first around this front opening but this is the wrong side so I'm going to turn it over because uh, I want to do that round from the right side Um, so that stitch is joined with the other side that's gonna be my first stitch the first stitch I'm gonna work into in that stitch I'm gonna make the very first special double crochet but I'm gonna insert in both loops here and make that special double crochet so for this round I'm just going to insert in both loops I'm not gonna work in the back loop only and from the next stitch, I'm going to work normal double crochet, but in both loops. So I'm going to work one double crochet in each stitch, like that. And at the seam here, I actually have two stitches, they're just being sold together. So I'm going to work one double crochet in each of them. So here I have two stitches left. That one is um, joined with the other side. So I've got two stitches, one and two. Then I'm going to join in the round with the very first stitch that is marked. Actually, I'm going to work one more here just to fill in this gap. like that so one last double crochet and then I'm going to join in the round with the first stitch inserting in the top two loops of the first stitch like that and slip stitch chain one um, I'm going to take out this hook and I'm going to put it on and see if I want to do one more round So I actually thought that was good. So I'm just going to stop there. I'm going to cut this yarn and pull this yarn through like that. I'm also going to make a chain that will go through the stitches at the front of the opening. So you make a slip knot again, um, insert your hook in this slip knot and start chaining. And I'm going to make my chain about 30 inches, which is about 76 centimeters. So it looks something like this. And then I'm going to chain one, pull tight, cut this yarn, and pull it through. That's it. That's my chain. For this one, um, you can use a yarn needle or a hook, but basically, um, this thing is gonna go through the stitches so from the bottom here go in and come out so in front of the next stitch behind the next so just in and out like that and I can also do this with a hook Or with just my hands. And the final result looks like this. I'm gonna cut off these yarns. 
And also don't forget to weave in these yarn tails as well on the wrong side. So for this one, I'm just gonna let it go through the stitches um, like this, like the seam on the wrong side, just like that. And then I'm just gonna cut it. So I'm gonna do the same thing for this tail, this one, and these. To see where I should attach my ears, I put this balaclava on, find a good spot for these ears, and I use two stitch markers to pin them onto the surface like that. The center of this edge is going to be lined up with the ninth stitch from the seam. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then from this side, the ears on the center row of this width, which is the ninth row from the front opening. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then I'm going to use this yarn to sew it like that on top of the balaclava. So I pretty much just whip stitched every stitch onto the surface. When you finish all that, this balaclava is done!